Sirius XM's Martha Live. And so how do you plan what what you put in your beds? What do you grow? Well, I try to first begin with what it is I would like to eat, mm -hmm. but then also what I don't mind harvesting because it takes a lot of time to, to like, if you want to do peas or if you want to do string beans or zucchini, you have to keep up with it. So I try to do a balance between what I'd like to eat, what I know I can pick, and also there are so many farmers markets nearby now that you can get your basics there. So I try to grow things that you might not find at the farmers market. But, you know, for example, some beautiful purple pea pods or just uh, I've been, been doing a lot of shelling beans mm -hmm. and more exotic things that people just don't find usually. So you also, you have a, you're, you're on Instagram. Yes. And you take a lot of photographs. And so a lot of the things you grow end up in some of the pieces of pottery that you create. Yes. So do you, what do you plant that you like to, to feature? Well, the amazing thing about nature, and I don't want to make it sound like a cliche, but you don't, you don't really, they're so beautiful when they're grown. And, and I, I especially yearn to the things that are lumpy or not perfect. And so just about anything is, is worthy of swooning. You know, like, oh, I just, I, I'm always amazed. Every day I go out and I see something, whether it's, not ripe yet, or it's overripe, or it's like kind of decaying on the court. I, I, I'm always, I'm always interested in seeing what that looks like. 